Hans Timmerstone, FlyHike.com, here with Marcus Brown. How you feeling tonight, man? I'm good, thank God, man. What do you call it? It's been a long 20 months old. We're back at the Cruiserweight Division. And we're just going to continue to build up for this victory tonight. What took you so long to get back in the ring? Was it injury, promotional stuff, or were you just building your body up to move yeah, up? Um, I was building my body up and, you know, it's just the politics of boxing, but it's okay. I'm here and I ain't going nowhere. That's it. What made you want to move up to, to the cruiserweight division, though, man? Because I've been fighting like heavyweight since I was 17 years old. Um, I'm 30, 32 now, and I just felt like it was time before, uh, you know, punish myself. How would you kind of assess your performance tonight, man? I give myself a B minus, man. You know, there was a lot of things I could have did, but you know, 20 months off, no excuse. You gotta keep moving forward. How did the extra weight feel on you, though, man? Did it feel good? Did you feel sluggish? I felt sluggish? good, man. I felt good. I didn't feel sluggish at all. Um, I could have, I could have came back with a, a lot more shots, and I just, I could have did a lot more. That's it. I'm not satisfied with tonight, though. I mean, you know, you're moving up at, at light heavyweight. You was always a pretty big guy in there. At cruiserweight, you ain't gonna be the biggest guy in there, though. No I know, man. and that, but that's why you gotta be the smartest, the swiftest, and you know, the the guy who wants it more. That's it. If there any names in particular that you want, cruiserweight is pretty wide open. And um, we were uh, just talking to Brett, man. He was like, "Hey, you're gonna win the world title at cruiserweight, man." Shout out to Brett, man, for that. Um, any other champions, to be honest. If Badu Jack want to do it again, I would love to do it again at Cruiserweight. Um, I'm, I'm here to stay. I'm not here for a short time. I'm here for a long time. How soon do you think it'll be until you actually get a chance to fight for a world title, man? Or do you want to get your feet wet a little bit more with these bigger guys? Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I can, I can handle this dude. So, however, however long, however much time it takes to be honest, I'm ready. Gotcha. I, I gotta ask your opinion, man. Um, everybody, including you, I'm sure, thought Spencer versus Crawford was 50 50, man. And then. Outside of the first round, it was pretty much all Crawford, man. Just... But, but is a bad dude, man. I'm yeah. not going to lie. What do you call it? Um, I was, you know, Arrow's my guy. So, you know, I'm ride, I ride with same, my guys. You feel me? Team, right? That's, you know what I mean? I ride with my guys, you know? But um, at the end of the day, you got to give Butters flowers, man. That, he, he he was doing some shit in there that, that, that's, that was, you know, ma magician-like. You feel me? So... You gotta get a man his flowers right, and you gotta bro, give him his respect. You know, and don't wanna take anything away from Crawford at all, but you know Spence better than like pretty much anybody. Like the Olympics was what, 2012, I think, yeah. right? Like did Spence look like himself or did he just look old, um, man? I feel like it was the weight getting to him too. That's why I moved up from 175, you know what I'm saying? Um, we've been we've been fighting at this weight class for a long time now. And as a man, and as you get older, you know, it gets harder to lose the weight and it gets harder to to actually fight with some spunk making that weight, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the fight is the way, making the way, you know what I mean? So do you think at 154 things are going to look completely different? Maybe 160, you never know. So you don't even want him to go to 154? Yeah, maybe he needs to skip a little too, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't see him beat up 160, 160 pounders, you know what I'm saying? Got it. So I just feel like, you know, maybe he needs to skip 154, you know? Do you think Do you think it's feasible at this point um, for Inouye, the, the Japanese fighter? Do you think it's, it's feasible for him to move up and wait and actually fight a guy like Tank? He's fighting at 122. Come on, man. Yeah, I got people, eyes. People, people need to stop this already, bro. They need to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Inouye, let him enjoy what, 122? Yeah. You know, he just got his two belts there. Let him make something happen. Does that annoy you about the sport of boxing where people be like, all right, you're greedy. They're greedy. Do that, do They're that, greedy. That, yeah. Boxing fans are greedy. They never satisfy. They can't help it, bro. They never satisfy. <laughs> Shit crazy. It's all good, though, man. Seeing that you're at Cruiserweight now, man, would, would love to know. You're only, you're only like a few. Just wanted to know, I know that's your, I know that's your guy, Drake Vaughn. Um, 
since we're talking, since, since he just passed by, um, give me your thoughts on, on the knockout loss, man. Um, he's young, so he could come, he could bounce back from it. Is that if he want to or not? But he's young, man. He good. He be all right. He's boxing. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of going forward. Um, you're now with the cruiserweight division, though. Uh -huh. Like, could you see yourself continuing to move up? Because once you get the cruiser, I mean, is right there. Right now we gotta we gotta conquer what's in front of us first. I don't I don't put the the carriage before the horse. Right now we gotta focus up on cruiserweight on the cruiserweight division, conquer here, and then we move forward from there. How would you kind of, how would you categorize your time at 175 pounds? You won the WBA title. You had a, a, a bunch of really good wins. You beat Manu Jack in a crazy fight. Um, you came up short against um, Pascal. He was, on, in a really, he was on dope. Five different, eight different drugs. He just didn't get caught. It was still a good fight, though. Man. Yeah, definitely. I feel like I beat him every round. It's just I got caught a couple times, and and that's what happened. And then he was headbutting me on purpose. Even, but, um, even, even the fight against um, Better Be is. He looked really good in that fight yeah, until that, eventually. That, but the, that's, why, that's why I had to move up because I felt so tired the first round. You know what I'm saying? After the first round? Yeah, after the first round, I felt tired and I, and I just felt like it was just the weight because, you know, we've been at that weight for a while. Yeah. So for Arrow to stretch it this long just to make it make a fight happen with the best fighter in the world, I mean, you got to give him credit for that. Gotcha. And just my last question for you, man. Can I get your official prediction for how do you think Jamel Charlo is going to end up doing against Canelo? On September 30th, how do you think that's gonna play I out? I got no prediction, but you know me. Um, I'm shooting for Jamel, man. I want him to win. That'd be a huge, major win for him. Um, Two-time undisputed. Clearly, the only person to do that is Terrence Crawford, and then I just line up a good fight between them, right? Where you got in that? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Too much. You asking too much, bro. Got gotcha. you. Thank you, Reverend. Appreciate it.